good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you are and from whatever time you'll get to see this video praise the name of our living god amen i believe each and every one of you is doing fine and is doing well and we are praying and we are waking up to pray yes i believe each and every one of you is doing so now the word of today uh, god says stop relying on your own understanding stop relying stop stop putting your trust on people stop stop telling people your things hoping that they will help you stop running to your friends to your to your pastors and bishops to these people that tell you they will help you yet in their own their own uh, themselves they also have troubles they also have problems this thing has to come to an end you see we have been brought to a corner where we feel like if i, I if i talk to my friends there is this thing that a problem shared is a problem half half solved yes it is true but who are you sharing your problems with i won't i won't say anything against that but who are you sharing your problems with so from today the word of today is stop just go back to god go back to god this this these people they will not help you. You see, the, wa the world is too noisy. You will get things from Google, from Facebook, from Instagram, from YouTube. Everyone is, is solving a situation in their own way, with their own knowledge, with, with whatever they have in mind. But you, have you tried solving your problems the, God, the God's way? Have you told God your problem, the problems? Have you tried? Have you tried going to the secret place and hide and talk to God and tell him I'm going through this. You see, God will always give us a better solution, a long-lasting solution. The ble Okay. God will give you something that you will not regret later and God will not, will not backbite. Yes. If you tell God what you're going through, if you tell God what you're struggling with, it will stay between you and God. Unless God knows someone that will help you go through that thing. Because you see now God won't come down by himself. He, he has to come through someone. You see many, many of the times he will talk to you personally depending on your relationship with God. He will talk to you. But Kidogo, he might send someone. Now that is where a third party comes in. But Mungu it was in Kinyangi watu. So I encourage you, talk to God. Speak to God. These other people will mess your life. These other people will give you directions that will lead you into troubles. These other people, if they're not spiritual people, if they're just your workmates, your, your neighbors, any, you, you just have a problem and you... Please stop. Just talk to God. The word of God says that those people, the word of God in Jeremiah says that those people will ruin your life. It says uh, you will leave that place with your hands on your head. For the Lord rejected those you trust. You will not be helped by them. It will end in tears. Those, those, those your problems that you are, this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 37. Bible says you'll get out of that place with your hands on your head because God has rejected the people you trust. You see, God Mungu anapenda kiabudiwa. So if you are trying to show God that there is someone who is greater than him, the one that you're taking your problems to, our God is a jealous God who does not know that. So please stop telling people your problems and talk to God. Only God can solve our problems. Only God has the answer of everything. Remember, He is the creator of the world. The world and everything in it belongs to him. So that thing that you are, you are struggling with, that you think God cannot solve, he created it. That thing that you are going through, you see that devil that is here manipulating and tormenting us was created by God. So whatever the devil is making you go through, God can help you. God knows a button to press for the devil to leave you alone. So go to God, speak to God. That was the word of, of today. I forgot to introduce myself. I am Lois Mulama and this is God will fix it. And I want to believe God will bless you. And I want to believe the message of today is home. Lean not on your own understanding and tr trust no other but God. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have nothing much to say today but that. May God bless you. And as you pray today, as you wake up today to pray, 
to, uh, call upon the name of Jesus and and ask him to help you trust him more for you to be friends for you to be colleagues for you to have a partnership so that each and everything you go through the, the one person you think about is God the one person you think about is God you share first with God and you wait for other directions from there God will direct you amen God will bless you thank you for tuning in Thank you for welcome. Please welcome others and thank you for welcoming others and God will bless all of us and remember to pray. Bye.